Ever wondered what the most commonly used passwords are globally? I don't, but I would I would guess it's something like one, two, three, four, five, or something like that. Something to do with like a child's name, a number, and um, a symbol at the end. I would be very interested to see what it is, though. Or maybe how long it would take a cyber criminal to crack a weak password. Well, you've come to the right spot. Hey, what's up? I'm Mike from Cyber News, and today is all about passwords. Now, the password manager company NordPass actually went over a four terabyte database to uncover some interesting password insights and common trends. So yeah, let's go ahead and break those down in this video. Uh, so do I even really need to stress that weak passwords are the Achilles heel of any online activity? I, you know, change my passwords regularly. I have, you know, complex passwords. I have a, you know, rotation of different ones to use. I think the biggest step that I probably take for myself to make sure I am very secure in my online life is probably to keep my passwords very safe. I mean, using a strong password is kind of a no-brainer, and at least it should be for everyone. But then I read that millions of people across the globe are using the same old passwords. When I'm creating a strong password, to be honest, I just do whatever the website tells me to do. And ranking first on Nord's most commonly used passwords for 2021 is... Um, I assume the most common password is... password? I don't know. I'm gonna guess password. I would guess it's something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or something like that. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seriously? <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> That one, two, three, four, five, six, that's probably the number one for like past 10 years. That's funny. Unsurprisingly, the top three are all variations of that number combination, and they can all be cracked in under a second. In fact, according to NordPass research, 169 passwords out of 200 can be cracked in less than a second. Yeah, that's like 84.5%, give or take. Now, compared to last year's 73% figure, yeah, it would seem that passwords are only getting weaker. This really highlights the importance of strong passwords and not reusing similar passwords across all your accounts. I mean, all it takes is a cyber criminal accessing one password. And if that's connected to any other account, well, you've essentially given them a front door key to your entire online life. Yeah, I always worry that, you know, someone's gonna get into my accounts. I, I don't use a lot of passwords, so I'm kind of worried that somebody's gonna find out one of them and get into, you know, half of the stuff that I use. <laughs> Even the more advanced passwords would only take about three hours to crack. Uh, by the way, MySpace 1 has been used over a million times in 50 countries. This password ranks number 54 on Nord's list, and come on, how long have you people been using that password for? MySpace? Seriously? Maybe it's just retro hipster chic, I don't know. Anyway, it's actually pretty interesting to see how the list varies across countries. For instance, number two in the US is password, yet it ranks eighth in Colombia. The research also suggests that people tend to use their own names with female names dominating the women's list and yep, male ones dominating the men's category. But when it comes to cracking of hashes or brute forcing passwords, well, the time it takes to crack usually depends on two things, password complexity and what machine or tools are actually being used. Now, in regards to the complexity, well, it speaks for itself. The more chaotic, the more random, the higher the entropy, AKA how undeterministic it is, the better. It's always good to use a combination of numbers, capital letters, and special characters in your passwords. Now, with the machines, the more computing power equals, well, a higher rate of brute forcing. And cracking a password can literally take anywhere from seconds to hundreds of years. But there are some factors that determine the outcome. Most importantly, the strength of your password. Which brings me to the next point. How can you safeguard your online accounts from brute force attacks? All right, we've said it before and we'll say it again. A safe password manager is one of the most effective ways. Though, not just any password manager is going to cut it. I have never used password managers before. I have not tried password managers before, actually. I've tried password managers? Oh no. No, I don't think I've tried any, actually. That's why I'm gonna quickly run through the most important things you should look for and a few features you might appreciate. Encryption, which is the cornerstone of any password manager. Anything less than AES 256-bit encryption is unacceptable. 
Quite a few market leaders use this, though NordPass itself actually uses an encryption that is said to be three times faster and a lot more modern. Now, the ability to generate and improve passwords. Can generate them, that's, that's pretty cool. That would be helpful because I hate having to be like a creative genius when I'm thinking of you know what to come up with and I usually just, I'm usually just really lazy. Yep. As we have explained before, weak passwords are common and easily hackable. Most password managers should have a good password generator, but I really like that NordPass can generate passphrases that are actually easy to memorize or easier to memorize, I guess. They also have a way to easily check your password health if you're not sure. What is my password now? I'm not telling you my password. One of the more important factors for me are security features, which is where you seem to get the best value for your money. Although I always use an antivirus on its own, having some form of dark web scanning in my password manager is a godsend. Dark web scanning essentially notifies me when my credentials are leaked in any dark web databases. And top dogs like Dashlane and NordPass have these capabilities. The alerts are not limited to your account credentials either. You can even get notified about banking info being leaked. Reputation, another pillar in the cybersecurity world. It's cool that NordPass has been through third-party independent audits. It's a great way to prove the application you're using has a high level of security, and not all password managers have undergone these audits. So choosing the right password manager really depends on the capabilities you're looking for. Now the must-haves that we just mentioned are a great place to start. And if you're considering NordPass at this point, well hey, don't forget, I always add the best deals I can find down in the description. So check out the NordPass promo links down there. We aren't sponsored by any providers, only affiliated by some, so it really makes a difference if you use our discount links and help us to continue making this content while, yeah, also saving you some dough. Now, moving on, a strong password is a must and should never be an afterthought. A reliable password manager can often be the most convenient solution, storing and crafting your passwords so, yeah, you don't have to. After all, take a moment to think about how many online accounts you actually have. How many online accounts do I have? Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know, probably like a hundred or something. I don't, I, they're everywhere. I'm sure there's some buried somewhere on the internet that I forgot about. <laughs> um, I probably have somewhere, uh, just because of like online shopping and everything, I probably have like, uh, it averages like 12 that you use and then like 20 you gotta sign up for just to do a shipping. I think I have probably around 25 to 30 online accounts because I'm including retail accounts, so I've got quite a few. It's got to be upwards of 20. You know, I have um, different subscriptions, different social sites, uh, stuff like that. So I feel like it's more and more and more, probably more than I'm even aware of, to be honest. It's a lot, right? So it might be a good idea to check if your passwords are on the common passwords for 2021 list and update where necessary. Also, adding 2FA or two-factor authentication to all your online accounts that accept it is a great idea. Oh, hey, I'll go ahead and link more info down below, including my very own NordPass review and information on the best password manager options. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.